Well, this is more like it. Chauffeur-driven arrival to Goodwood, the home of Rolls-Royce motor cars, the place where people come when they have mountains of cash. Can't wait to get inside. Hello. Mr. Reed, good morning. Welcome to Rolls-Royce Motor Cars. Thank you. I recognise this thing. This is a 1952 Rolls-Royce Silver Dawn. This actually served as the muse for the modern-day Dawn. If I wanted to build a brand new Dawn inspired by this thing, what's the process? Let me take you through and I'll show you. All right, cool. This is where the journey really starts for your bespoke Rolls Royce. Where do we start with that? Um, well, what we typically do is start with the exterior paint. So perhaps if we take a look at some of the speed forms. Speed forms? Speed forms, yeah. So we designed a form that we think is a sort of a reflection of the, the bodywork on our cars. So if we took perhaps this Midnight Sapphire, combined it with Premier Silver. Yeah, that's a good start. I'll take it. Is that crocodile? We've got crocodile, we've got ostrich. I was thinking about that ostrich, but that might eat into the budget. Yeah. I went further inside the factory to meet their famous coach line painter. You might have noticed on many Rolls Royces, there are these arrow straight lines that run along the bodywork. Those aren't applied by robots and they're not stickers. They're actually painted on by hand by one man. You're a bit of a legend, aren't you, I hear? Uh, supposedly, yes. <laughs> yeah. And it's all done by hand, all by done you. By hand. With these, with these tiny brushes? With these tiny little brushes that are made of uh, squirrel hair. Squirrel? Squirrel hair, yeah. So I'll do a little bit and then uh, you can have a go. Me? Yeah. How do you sort out a mistake? I'm probably going to need to know this. <laughs> <laughs> I very rarely make them, so I don't know. Keep your fingers on the top of the curve. Yeah. Place your brush into your existing line there. This feels wrong. This feels wrong. It's not this, wrong. This is this, real, this it's is, not wrong. This is a real Rolls Royce. I and know, real paint. Real. How would you think I learned? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. It's going on. It's going on. It's going on. It's going on. When do I stop? Keep going. How do you know when to Keep stop? Keep going. Now stop. That's not that's, bad, though. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. It, that's probably straighter than yours. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, the famous monsoon test. All cars go through it to make sure they're 100% watertight. So here we are. I'm surrounded by nozzles closing in on me. And it is, it's raining. And it's unbelievable that if a Rolls Royce fails the monsoon test, it has to go back to the very beginning of the process and have everything stripped out, remade, redone, and then it comes back again for more testing. Leaks, nothing whatsoever. Nice, nice. When the car's ready, the rich and or famous come into this room to collect their keys, have a glass of champagne and await their car. A Rolls Royce representative will hand over this, which has a button on it, and if I press it, I should see my car. There it is, a brand new dawn. It's time to take her for a spin. 